Well, it looks as if it's out of kilter, certainly. But what all science does is uh, put forward a theory and deduce consequences from it. And what does deduction consist in? Uh, deducing uh, from theory T, some prediction P, um, <laughs> consists in drawing out P from T. And we can only do that if we believe T and not P is a contradiction. So all science involves drawing out consequences which would, uh, 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 in view of our knowledge of what is and isn't a contradiction. So uh, that's all Descartes doing. He's got a bit of datum and he's drawing out a consequence from it and he's entitled to draw that consequence if the datum plus not the <laughs> not the consequence uh, were to involve a contradiction. So he's proceeding in just the same way as scientists proceed. Uh, but he's starting from uh, uh, the extraordinary phenomenon, I am thinking. Now, all the successful science so far has been the physical sciences. And the phys it, their data are physical data in the sense of publicly observable phenomena and um, scientists have drawn consequences from that. But now Descartes is drawing attention to something entirely outside the sphere that they are dealing with. I am thinking. This is not part of the datum of science. Science may, of course, uh, try and discover certain, certain uh, goings on in the brain which cause it to be the case that I am thinking, but they don't think what the data means, what is the consequence of the data, and they don't reflect on how utterly different a data it is from the sort of thing that scientists are dealing with, which is the publicly observable. And, they are, and Descartes is pointing out this is massively different from anything science does, and yet it's more obvious than anything science does. And um, uh, he's, all he's doing is drawing out what follows from that, and that's what science does from their theories.